cabin here in St. James, Missouri. Um, it's been here since the 1800s. Yeah, early 1830s, yeah. Yeah. Um, the original owner, Brinker, um, who was actually a soldier in the Civil War, he housed slaves here, which the, that right back there, I don't know if you can see it on camera, that's the slave headquarters. Um, story has it that that tree right there is the tree that the slave um, Mary was hung on. Now, Brinker, the original owner, his daughter, Jane, was found drowned in the river that's behind the property, and they blamed the slave girl, Mary, and she was wrongly convicted, and she was hung. Yep. Um, now, we later found out that she was hung in town. She was not hung on the property. Um, no, she was hung on the property. Oh, she but was? she was buried in an unmarked grave in town. Okay. Yep. Sorry. That's all right. Um, there's the cabin. After... Um, it was a home. It was tur It was the very first courthouse for St. James, Missouri. So. Yeah, which is interesting because we've been here once, and we just had a recorder. We got a gavel banging. Yep. Uh, somebody, uh, a voice, disembodied voice saying, uh, "What did you bring?" Uh, it sounded like a deep male saying, "Go home." Uh, just different things. Latches moving, doors creaking. It's uh, not as grown up this time. The grass is. So hopefully we can find the small cemetery that's next to this place. Yeah, we didn't catch that last time. So hopefully this time we will. Possibly tell us your name. Did I just hear that outside? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you heard that? Well, what it was like. <laughs> it sounded like a child, did it not? Did it go off? Huh? No, did it go off? Here's the slave quarters. The slaves 
uh, lived down bottom, but also at the same time, it was you said that the children used this up here for their room, slash, it was also for food. Yeah, storage. Storage. But who's to say that it wasn't used for whatever? Please maybe say something again more clearer and try to, so that we can hear you. We also heard the latch upstairs lift. Can you try getting close to it or touching it? As you can see, it doesn't hurt us. Is this where you slept? What went on in here? Did you just make that go off? Did you touch that thing Kirsten's holding? It's crazy. Yeah, because all I did was this. Well, it's not doing it again. No, I've done it several times. As you can see, it doesn't hurt us. Side, we thought we heard a child laughing. Was that you? We thought we heard a child laughing. Was that you? How far is the river? out here that'd like to talk to us? Mm -hmm. Is that you making that sound? Okay. Sure this is the tree? I mean, that's what story says. We don't right. know for sure. I mean, you can't say, hey, it's 100% stamped. Right. Like. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> mm hmm Is that you making that sound? Disoriented, just like confused, because huh. I feel like you know there's something like around me. Okay, I'm feeling pressure in my nose and head. Like, really? Like pressure. Like sinus pressure almost. Yeah. I feel it too. Really? Yes. It was like it just started like, coming over me. Yep, like towards kind of towards the top of my nose, yeah. by my eyes. <laughs>
bit to really so you can see what our intentions are. It's very cold out tonight. Is there is there anything that you'd like to say to us? It's very cold out tonight. I just wanted to say a quick thank you as the viewer and your support. Uh, it's immeasurable. We greatly appreciate it. And even though you know, you're watching our videos, it's helping it get out there to the world, but also what it's doing for the para paranormal community is amazing things. Uh, honestly, I believe that it's going to help para unity, as in other groups coming together and everybody being as a whole and as one. And on the same level of sharing evidence and just being open to everybody's techniques and how they investigate. That being said, I wanted to thank PB Subnormal, Paul and Beth, for being that outlet for us, for being a group that we can share things with. And not only just a group, but being friends. And that's where Parity needs to go, is one collective. And you as the viewer can make that happen. Uh, we greatly appreciate it. And we hope that we can strive to become a very whole unit as far as the viewer, as far as investigators, and as far as spectators in any which way or form. But again, it's just about connecting with certain groups all on a level of one goal, and that is showing the world that this is out there, that there is a realm besides what we can see on a constant basis that does talk to us and is there. Uh, I wanted to say thank you to all our supporters. PB So Normal, Paul and Beth, you guys are great friends, great evidence, great investigations. We appreciate all your support. Thank you very much, and we'll see you soon.